Let's take a look at a Venn diagram here. Now I'm going to be using some notation for the Venn diagram, but I'm going to try to interpret it in words so you will be able to know what exactly are we looking for in that diagram. So let's look at number one. We want A with a little apostrophe. We might say that A prime. This refers to the complement in A. What we want here is everything that's not in A. So we want everything not in A. And I'm going to list it in what's called roster form. So we're using those curly braces. I want everything that's not in A. Um, so these items are in A. And this item's in A. This one is not. And neither are these two. So we'll list those. E is not in A. F and G are not in A either. All right, let's take a look at number two. So A with this upside down U, B, means A and B. So in this case, we're looking for the overlap. What items are in the overlap? In this case, that is just the D. That's the only one that's in the overlap between A and B. All right, number three. We want the A union. B. So this is everything in A and everything in B and everything in the overlap. So everything in A, that's A, B, C, D, and everything in B, that's D, we already have it written, and E, and the overlap, that is D, we already have it written. So it's everything in A, everything in B, and everything in the overlap as well. All right, number four, finally, is a subset of A. So what this is asking you for is to take the things in A and just make a small circle around some of them. All right, so maybe you would make a circle around A and B. Or maybe you would have made a circle around C and A. Or maybe you would have made just a circle around a. See, all of these are subsets because they're all inside A and we just make a smaller group inside of that. That's what a subset is. So I hope this helps with your set notation.